What's up everybody, welcome back to another video by Trunk Fresh Green 34 and today we have a brand new 2023 two-pack featuring Maddie McGear and Chris Rostovsky with White Flag. So yes, I am back with an actual new diecast review. It's been like two months since I've reviewed a 2023 product in the form of Gearston Marshall, so I am very, very excited to have finally found something new from 2023 in stores again. It's very, very exciting. Now, this is in the first 2023 two-pack case that was leaked way back in like October or November. Um, but they're just finally starting to show up in Canada now at Walmart and Toys R Us. Not sure about the states. I know um, Walmart in America doesn't carry two-packs anymore or so I've heard. Maybe Target. I'm not really that sure. But in any case... I'm glad that I was able to find one. Now, I've obviously already reviewed Maddie McGear on the channel before, I believe, in the Melissa Burna Break 2-pack, um, but it's been a while, so I will talk about her again. And Chris Rostovsky, I've actually never reviewed, and she is the main reason why I bought this pack, because I need Chris with the white flag, and then I will have all of the Chris flag variants, which is super exciting. So, I can't wait to uh, open this up. So, of course, we have the quote-unquote Red Riders background with some very nice artwork for both Maddie and Chris. It's hard to see, but yeah, we'll flip it upside down for you. There you go. Of course, these are metal. Um, we got the Mattel logo, the tire track, um, what is it, the tire track name tag. Wow, I can't believe I couldn't think of that. Uh, it's so funny, because I've been reviewing Cards on the Road stuff lately, like Kirsten Marshall, Royce Revsley, Greebles. So I've been talking about their packages, and it's been a while since I've actually covered a Red Riders one. Um, and of course, they do have the stadium background, by the way, I should have mentioned that. These are, of course, as seen in Cars 3. And we have some other two-packs in the case, such as Harvey Rodcap and Barry DePetal, and Jet Robinson and Caleb Worley. Flo and Saludos Amigos Ramon, Conrad Camber and Jonas Carvers, and then Maddie and Chris. Yeah. Trying to show off two-pack packages on camera is, is pretty tricky. You have to, like, spin it around just so that you can see the entire thing. But I'm going to be right back with these guys opened up. All right, so here they are out of the package. And I think I'm going to start by talking about Chris because Chris has the most um stuff to talk about I guess just because she has several variants so of course Chris is the Florida 500 or not Florida 500 but she is the main flag waver in Cars 3 um who, who she was the flag waver in the Florida 500 though that that is accurate um I absolutely love the model they gave her originally they released her with the Dexter Hoover model which is not accurate but this corrected version on the right here, in my opinion, is just fantastic. I'm a very big fan of it. Uh, now, she is an all-white pickup truck with some blue uh, lines down there. You can see a line there and a bigger one at the bottom of the door. She's got red rims with basic black wheels. Official, to say that she is a Piston Cup official. Now you'll notice that on the original version, they actually said official, or they wrote official on the back of the bed, um, but they don't do that on the new version for some reason. But I guess it's fair because we don't actually see the back of her in the movie, so it's impossible to know. She also has a closed bed, whereas, like I said, that original version had an open bed. It's not often we get closed bed trucks, so I think that's part of the reason why I like this model so much, because it's kind of unique. And then her license plate reads i think that's c0816e i believe again no idea what that means <laughs> uh you can see she's got basic white mirrors there some nice gray windows black door handle i really like the expression and i actually like that they changed it slightly on all of the chris flag variants so you can see the white flag one her i guess for us it would be the left eyelid is raised up whereas here it's the right one and then the green flag one it's just kind of neutral or rather they're both raised so it's really cool how they did that they definitely didn't need to because i think dexter hoover all of his expressions are the same across every single 
flag that he has, or at least I'm pretty sure. I don't actually have Dexter Hoover in any form, so I'm kind of just guessing there, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't change up the expression that often. Um, yeah, she, we'll move these out of the way. She's got this like this hole drilled into her to hold the flag, which I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be on the wheel because the wheel is how they're actually like waving the flag in the movie, not just drilled to the side there. So that looks a little bit goofy, I guess. But when you look at it like this, you might not even notice that it's not attached to the wheel. So I guess it's kind of like an optical illusion thing. She's got a silver bar that the white flag is attached to, and the flag is kind of fluoraled. Fluoraled, is that the word? Because you have unfluoraling. Yeah, fluoraled. <laughs> very, very cool. The white flag version is not new to this year, by the way. This did come out as a single in 2020 in the Copper Canyon Speedway series. And then we have the green flag version, which came first in 2019. which was cool because this was back when they actually corrected her for the first time. So it was a lot more significant. And then in 2021, they did the white flag version. So they did a new Chris every year there for a little while, which was kind of crazy. Very cool. And here's the original model version with the checkered flag. So hilariously inaccurate. I think I did talk about this in my inaccuracies and corrections video a few months ago. But yeah, it's it's kind of sad. <laughs> uh, yeah, they were supposed to do a Chris on this new model with this checkered flag, but then they canceled it and gave us the green, yellow, and white ones instead. So, yeah. That's, uh... A little bit disappointing. I would have rather they just uncanceled the checkered one first, because I think the checkered one, the checkered and green ones, I think are the important ones. I don't really think anyone cares about the yellow and white flags. It's kind of just like filler releases, I would say. So that's about it for Chris. We'll send her back over there. Here we have Maddie McGear. Let me check if this is the right one. Yeah, I have three Maddie McGears now. You can see I've got one in the background there which is my first Thailand Maddie that came in the Melissa Burnabrake pack. Um, this is the one from the Chris pack, and then this is my original China one. So, of course, Maddie McGear is, like, McQueen's biggest fan in Cars 3. She's the one who yells, lightning! You know? Um, and if she was actually, like, a TikTok trend for a while or something. People were, like, using the audio from that scene on TikTok, and it, like, blew up. And a bunch of Maddie McGears were selling out on eBay. It was crazy. Uh, there was like a big Maddie McGear craze for like two weeks there, not that long ago. It's kind of wild. <laughs> um, yeah, one thing I do like about Maddie is the accessories they gave her. I love the 95 hat. I like the lightning bolts on the side, the little 95 flag. She's got a nice expression and she's all red, just like Lightning McQueen. She, she committed. She's a fan. Even the rims are all red, which is just... That's commitment. Or maybe it's coincidence, you know? Maybe that's how, um, maybe that's how she just was, like, quote-unquote, born. She was just born red, and she became a McQueen fan. I don't know. I don't want to get into the logistics of car creation <laughs> here, but her license plate reads, Da Kid. Oh, Da Kid. It's cute. She's got this, like, black... Whoa, on focus, please. There we go. She's got this, like, black piece here. I don't know what this is for. It's supposed to, I guess maybe it's like a window cover of some kind. I'm not really sure what it actually does, and the camera won't even focus on it. All right. But yeah, in terms of China to Thailand difference, not really anything significant. Hang on, you can't even really... The glare... From the light above me is like hitting Maddie. Anyways, you can kind of see that there. The only real difference I would say is that the eyes on the Thailand one look a little bit bigger. And the um, eyelid looks a lot thicker. Or not a lot thicker, but like a little bit thicker on the Thailand one. 
and the coloring on the 95s looks a tad different. China one looks a bit darker, this one looks a bit brighter. But yeah, everything else is basically the same. Oh wait, no, hold on. The Thailand one, the door handle that's supposed to be there, you can like barely see it. It's there, but you can't even really see it on camera, whereas on the China one, you can clearly see it there. And that applies to the other side as well. Interesting. I wonder why they changed that. That's such a weird thing to change. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, overall, um, I like Maddie McGear a lot. There's also the fan favorites version that I don't have, which is based on her epilogue look, where she's got both the 95 and the 51. You know, she's supporting McQueen and Cruz, which I think is really cool. Would love to get that variation someday. Yeah, I'm not going to go too much more in-depth of Maddie McGear because I have reviewed her in the past. So if you want, I will leave a link to that in the description below. So be sure to check it out. But yeah, that wraps it up for this nice little two-pack review. I'm glad I finally have White Flag Chris. My Chris collection is complete. And now I need to start the Dexter Hoover collection because I don't have any Dexter Hoovers somehow. Don't know how I never ended up with one, but I have all the Chris Rostopskis. So let me know in the comments section below what your thoughts are on these two. Did you partake in the Maddie McGear TikTok trend? Did you see the Maddie McGear TikTok trend? Um, I know some people don't use TikTok. I personally don't use it. I just heard about it from a friend. And yeah. Also let me know, I don't know, what's your favorite flag color? <laughs> I don't know. I like the green one. The green one's probably my favorite. But in terms of expression, I definitely like one of these two more. 100%. And then we have the disgusting, inaccurate one there. We'll bring in Addy McGear there. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned, because I am officially on summer break, and I am going to be doing a lot of content on the channel coming soon. If you stay to the end, you get a bit of a sneak peek. I've got Disney Store stuff to review. I've got a custom to review. I've got a big Mini Racers Mega unboxing to do, which I am really looking forward to doing. I'll probably be uploading that one very, very soon. Yeah, the next couple months on the channel are going to be big. We are back in full swing. I'm going to try for two uploads a week. Um, I'm also posting weekly shorts. I'm doing trying to do one short a week and then two regular videos a week. So you're getting three pieces of content a week, basically. That is the goal. I'm going to try and stick to it. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a really fun summer on the channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye now.